Well, the hot weather on this Memorial Day drew large crowds to Gulf Coast beaches. Six News anchor Ashley Gaston traveled to Crystal Beach where families celebrated the holiday and remembered fallen servicemen and women. The red, white and blue waving in the sunshine on Memorial Day. That's how Stephen Guidry shows his gratitude. Well, I just want to send out a thank you for the men and women who are, are serving today. And the, and the folks that uh, sacrificed everything in the past. You know. Guidry says the military men and women who died for the nation make it possible for his family to enjoy the holiday. You know, we shouldn't take that for granted. Every day we ought to uh, thank God for our freedom that we have. <laughs> A number of families are making memories along Crystal Beach. So if you agree, have Some are playing football. Others are swimming in the Gulf. Joseph Mooney is camping with his daughters for the first time on the beach. I love trying to make memories for the kids, and uh, this is definitely a memory. Mooney enjoys sharing this day with his family. He's the fourth generation to serve in the military. It's just a time to uh, remember the fallen soldiers and uh, be thankful for what we have because of those soldiers and the ones that are still serving today. What Mooney has here on this holiday, a family of 14. I'm in. Enough barbecue and fixins to feed the entire group. Even his youngest, a seven year old, knows to respect the military. I'd be thankful and proud of their country, and anytime they see a, a serviceman, give them a hug, handshake, tell them how thankful they are for them. A thank you symbolized by Americans flying their flags and enjoying the freedoms made possible by our fallen veterans. In Crystal Beach, Ashley Gaston, KFDM 6 News. There are 160 rental cabins on Crystal Beach this year. That's up 60 from last year, and Swedes rented all of its properties.